أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students and viewers this is the first class of forensic medicine in Addinaki's Medical College Khulna let me introduce myself first I am professor Dr Khan Shakil Ahmed professor of forensic medicine and head of the department of forensic medicine at the Nakis Medical College School. At first the we would like to discuss about introduction of forensic medicine and this is the first card of our writing book name of the subject is forensic medicine and toxicology i would like to tell or give some information about some textbooks of forensic medicine in bangladesh we the people of forensic medicine are fond of these books and we tell our students to read from the textbooks which are as follows the name of the book the first one we like the essential of forensic medicine and toxicology and the author is dr k s narayan reddy and dr op murthy second one is principles of forensic medicine including toxicology The author is Apurbanandi. Third one is Textbook of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. Author is Nagesh Kumar J Rao. Fourth one is Textbook of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology: Principles and Practice by Krishan Vis. Another one is Parikh's Textbook of Medical Jurisprudence, Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. for classrooms and courtrooms by professor sikhe parik the above mentioned books are from india and if we see something from regarding forensic pathology then we suggest the book knight's forensic pathology the author is bernard knight and picasso so the above mentioned books are very very informative for forensic medicine and toxicology now at first we tell you that the name of the subject is forensic medicine and toxicology if we want to tell about forensic medicine there are some other names of forensic medicine these are legal medicine and state medicine and some if we want to tell about the nomenclature of forensic medicine then the forensic word comes from a greek word forum which means roman open marketplace where the lawyer did their practice in ancient time and regarding the definition there are lots of definition in various books but the easy one is it is the branch of medical science which deals with application of medical scientific knowledge to aid in the administration of justice in short it deals with medical aspect of law that is justice through medical science there are lots of branches in forensic medicine forensic pathology forensic toxicology forensic ballistics forensic serology forensic radiology forensic dactylography forensic thanatology forensic psychiatry forensic obstetrics forensic odontology forensic criminology forensic osteology forensic entomology forensic anthropology and anthropometry and clinical forensic medicine we already told 15 branches of forensic medicine so till 
now there are some questions both for bhaiba and for saq even mcq definition of forensic medicine or what is forensic medicine and what are the branches of forensic medicine it is a saq question mcq may come from uh, this from the branches of forensic medicine like what are the branches of forensic medicine and there are uh, the five stem regarding the branches like forensic pathology like forensic toxicology through forensic ballistic through but if there is forensic physical medicine there is no forensic physical medicine so from their mcq and saq question may come in both term final and professional examination let us discuss why we read the forensic medicine that is aims and objectives or roles of forensic medicine the aims of forensic medicine is application of medical scientific knowledge to aid in the administration of justice it is the definition itself then it deals with medical aspect of law it teaches a doctor how to use his or her knowledge of medical science like anatomy medicine surgery psychiatry etc it classify and solves different medical legal problems and sometime it collects medical evidences in criminal cases these are the aims and objectives of forensic medicine or role of forensic medicine another topic is the scope of forensic medicine usually i want to tell that when we completed our course then every student can tell about the scope of forensic medicine so i just skip the scope of forensic medicine now then another essential questions why the doctors of all categories of all categories that is medicine surgery gynae ent orthopedics even who are practicing why these doctors should have fair knowledge of forensic medicine it is very very important for all of the doctors as because if we don't know the role of forensic medicine if we don't know the knowledge of forensic medicine then we can face various problems during our practicing life or even teaching life so the why all categories of doctor should have fair knowledge of forensic medicine the reasons are as follows number 1 it helps a doctor to safeguard himself from various legal problem arising during treatment of victims or criminals like a patient of injury criminal abortion poisoning even simple uh, a patient uh, when uh, a male doctor uh, examine a female patient without an female attendance it is a crime according to forensic medicine second one a doctor of any specialty may be asked by the court to give his expert opinion when a doctor give an injury report when a doctor give an rape victim examination report post mortem report then a doctor can ask by the court at any time to give his expert opinion in the court in front of judge third one a doctor comes to know his or her code of conduct through forensic medicine so that he becomes alert to his medical legal responsibilities what we should do what we should not do that is the code so in short all categories of the doctors should have fair knowledge of forensic medicine to safeguard himself to give the expert opinion whenever asked by the court and to know his or her code of conduct that is what should he do during his practice the another topics in introduction of forensic medicine is medical jurisprudence our old teachers they are very much fond of this term medical jurisprudence as because few years ago or near about 15 years ago the 
forensic medicine termed as medical jurisprudence but now uh, it is a, a topic of forensic medicine so what is medical jurisprudence juris means law and prudence but prudentia means knowledge so if we give the definition it is like it is defined as the science which deals with legal responsibilities of a doctor with particular reference to those arising from doctor patient relationship that is medical negligence consent rights and duties of a doctor professional in famous conduct and medical ethics in short it deals with legal aspects of medical practice so if we tell the definition in a shorter form we can say like that it is defined as the science which deals with legal responsibilities of a doctor arising from doctor patient relationship and those are medical negligence consent rights and duties of a doctor professional infamous conduct and medical ethics later we discussed about all of those now another question very 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 important question from the, this introduction that is what is the difference between forensic medicine and medical jurisprudence the shorter definition itself a difference that is forensic medicine it deals with medical aspect of law and medical jurisprudence is deals with legal aspect of medical practice one is forensic medicine is deals with medical aspect of law and the jurisprudence legal aspects of medical practice that is what we face the problem during our medical practice second one forensic medicine brings the medical man or doctor into contact with courts of law and the medical jurisprudent brings a doctor into contact with patient third one forensic medicine deals with application of medical scientific knowledge to aid in the administration of justice which is our definition itself and the medical jurisprudent deals with legal responsibilities of a doctor arising from doctor patient relationship we know that forensic medicine had some subdivisions so it is another difference that forensic medicine has some subdivisions but medical jurisprudence has no subdivision forensic medicine is applied to all and medical jurisprudence is applied on to the doctors so it is another important question that is the difference between forensic medicine and medical jurisprudence in introduction we also say some history regarding forensic medicine that is the first code of conduct regarding medical science the name of the code is code of hammurabi which was given by king of babylon in 2200 bc the first code regarding medical ethics is hippocrates oath which is which was given by hippocrates who is known as father of medicine another one code of hippocrates which constituted legal compensation for personal injuries that was declared on 1400 bc another code is justinian code that was 529 to 564 ad and which constituted regulation of medical practice and imposition of penalties of malpractice so from there a question may in professional examination may come like what are the ancient code of forensic medicine or what are the ancient codes when the question uh, you face the question you have to write like that the some ancient codes are as follows that is code of hammurabi which was given by king of babylon then hippocrates oath then code of hitt then justinian code like that regarding history polus jacius we know uh, every subject has uh, some father like person so polus jacius is considered as the father of legal medicine as well as father of forensic psychiatry 
very very important thing is that first medical legal autopsy when the first medical legal autopsy was done and where and by whom it is very very important very very important that is first medical legal autopsy was done by bartolomeo di varignana bartolomeo di varignana where in bologna italy and when at 1302 ad so first medical legal autopsy was done by bartolomeo di varignana and in bologna italy at 1302 AD What about the first book of forensic medicine First book of forensic medicine was written by an Italian physician His name is Fortunato Fidelli and which is published at 1602 AD Who was the first chair or who was the first professor of forensic medicine At that time it was named as medical jurisprudence so the first professor or first chairman of forensic medicine is mr duncan he was declared as professor or chairman as at 1801 ad in edinburgh university so we already discussed about the introduction of forensic medicine and at last i want to tell for our students that it is very very important the introduction of forensic medicine uh, from here questions may come as mcq as sq and even in oral and practical examinations so last i want to repeat the what are those questions at first what is the definition of forensic medicine or define forensic medicine what are the branches of forensic medicine what are the aims and objectives of forensic medicine why doctors of all categories should have fair knowledge of forensic medicine then what is medical jurisprudence and what are the things medical jurisprudence deals with uh, then the difference between forensic medicine and uh, medical jurisprudence and then some information regarding uh, history of forensic medicine and there are the questions like that what are the ancient codes and who was the uh, first chair of forensic medicine or medical jurisprudence who was done the first medical legal autopsy and where first book of forensic medicine is written by whom these are the and who is the father of forensic medicine as well as forensic psychiatry so after completion of this introduction chapter we already it is known to us and we have to memorize it uh, very very carefully as because it is very very important both for written and for uh, oral and practical examinations that is uh, all about uh, introduction of forensic medicine and today's lecture thank you